television was another thing that I, um, I've been very lucky to be involved in from early on. I was, this is the great advantage of being so old, you could, you're, you know, you've done things for such, so long. Um, I was the presenter of, I, I keep saying it's the world's first television series about wine and no one has ever challenged me. Um, we, it was transmitted in the UK's new channel, Channel 4, in 1983, then another series in 85, then another series in 87, and then Nat Hugh Johnson, who's a good friend of mine, uh, came muscling in and got hit, he got the commission for the one after that, which was his History of Wine series. But, God, we used to go around the world with a crew of something like 12 or 13 people, and it was so cumbersome. And admittedly, with our last series, big series that we did for the BBC on film, we didn't make life easy for ourselves, so we had masses of equipment. Um, so it would take, you know, you had to budget in something like three hours just to get out of an airport. And of course, if I contrast that with nowadays going around with my little <coughs> flip video in, in around the world of wine, just doing little interviews with people, or sitting in my back garden and even filming myself, we all have such means uh, so easily available to us to do things that in the old days used to take uh, huge teams. And I mean, that, that BBC um, series that we did called Janice Thompson's Wine Course, that won lots of awards and it was very nice and it's, it, it had a long life. Um, that was in the mid 90s, but it's, the budget for it was nearly one million pounds. I mean, of course, nowadays you can do everything so much cheaper. Not perhaps to the same high polished standard, but maybe people don't need that anymore. And I, anyone who's ever watched any of the videos on my website will see that I don't necessarily believe in high production values. I think there is a value to be had for that gritty, you know, not quite perfectly lit interview.